Hey guys, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks for asking. Today we're gonna listen to someone that I'm really interested in hearing his opinions. Raymond Liepins, but more of you probably know him as Coach Ray. In my opinion, most informative channel on YouTube. Ray had a lot of work and we couldn't get him on the phone, but he accepted and he was happy to be part of this. So he recorded his answers himself and he sent it to me. So let's listen to him. What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today I'm answering questions from Philip. 10 questions regarding arm wrestling training. Let's get right into it. Question number one, how often do you train on table? We usually do one or two training sessions on table. It really depends on how fresh you are, how well rested your tendons are. If you're feeling that your tendons are not getting rest they need, then I'm doing one session. If I'm feeling really confident, really good, we're gonna do two. Question number two, how long is usually your table session? It's usually one to two hours. Sometimes we do longer ones, but basically you can go hard for, for an hour and then you can just work on different stuff when, when your basically energy is getting lower. Question number three, how is your training on table looking? So basically what we are doing in our table practice, it really depends on individual. It really depends on day I'm having. It really depends on what muscles are been overworked this week so if i'm feeling that everything is working i want to try my start um, i want to try positions where i feel comfortable if i find out that something isn't working i just cannot do one of those things then i want to focus on others and then when it's a little later in the training i will go back but basically it's different things for different people every time it's different it there's it's never the same sometimes we just come to the table practice and it's a competition it's 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 basically a competition but usually you want to find out what's working for you and work those angles uh, i usually work with uh, stronger guys at the start and with a little bit weaker guys in the end so with weaker guys i can try out things that I couldn't do with a stronger guy. Question number four, how many times you train in between your sparring sessions? I do three or four gym sessions. So right now it's three specific arm wrestling training sessions in a week. One time we practice on table. I, I haven't got the chance to do two because my tendons are just adjusting. And sometimes I will do one or two just like overall body training sessions really quick basically bodybuilding or fitness style training sessions in the gym we train all week round maybe one day off is your training structured would you recommend to structure training for beginners yes making a plan man without a plan is 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 going nowhere so you need to have a plan you when you come into the gym you need to know what you're gonna do you don't need to know what you're gonna do this week you need to know what you're gonna do this month how you're gonna prepare yourself for basically for a battle, how you're gonna get better, how you're gonna get stronger. This is why you need to structure in your training. You need to, you need to think about things that are working. You really need to look at your training. So uh, I recommend for everyone, just make a structure of it. From the things that you know, make a structure. Uh, I make some uh, plans that are available for free under each of my videos on my channel. There's a link in the description where you can find those. It gives some basically some guidelines, some, some pathway, how, how to structure your training if you don't like those plans. But anyway, everyone should have a plan, structure in their training. When you're just coming and just, um, just today I'm gonna do arms. Armsling is always arms. You need to be more specific. Let's say you wanna work on, on your knuckle up position, you wanna work on your rotation, pronation to get it, or, or, or your bicep tendon or things like that. So this is armsling, it's, it's very complicated. Every time we step on table with different person, it's complicated. So you need to train like that. Question number six, are you using more compound exercise or specific exercise or you just do one of them? Comp more compound exercises when it's off season, when it's season, more specific for arm wrestling. Uh, in, in off season, what we call off season is basically a break between two major competitions. We usually prepare for three months. So uh, let's say after Europe and world, there was a um, six or seven week uh, layoff and we just did overall training. It was 10% specific, 90% overall. Now it's now it's other way around. We start from 70 to 30 percent, 70 specific, 30 overall. In the end, it will be 90, 10 or even 100. 
Question number seven, are you sticking with your few favorite exercises or changing your training plans? We are changing our training plans. When you're sticking with one thing, it's gonna lead to adaption. And, and everyone who has uh, been to school about sports science, they know adaption is good and it's bad at the same time. You know, you're, you're, let's say you're just doing one exercise, bench press, and, and you're not changing anything, you're just doing five reps for five sets. At one point, your body will get used to it and it will not grow. This is why you need to change things up. In my experience, more trained your body are, faster you need to change those things. We change workouts every two weeks. Every two weeks, it's something different. What I have tried if I leave one workout for a month, first three weeks, I will have spike going up and fourth week, it will be going down. So that means I have really good adaption and I need to change things quickly, shock my body into growth. Only time when you should be staying with that that really good exercise, not changing anything is when competition is coming. If you change something in a week before competition, you will have muscle soreness, uh, you might uh, have tendon tears, so I don't recommend changing things in competition week. So two or three weeks before competition, you stay there. That's, that's good in my opinion. But when you're training, when you wanna get better, when you wanna break those plateaus, that's when you need to change things up. Question number eight, what are your rep ranges? Are you changing them? Yes, and it differs from every exercise. More muscles are involved in movement, less reps we're gonna do. Less muscles are involved in the movement, more reps we're gonna do. So basically, if I'm doing just forearm work, I can work up to 20. If I'm doing some arms and compound movements, basically like a side press with, uh, with back pressure, so I'm taking the weight out, I'm doing the side press, up and going back. Here I do from eight, five reps. Because more muscles are involved, more exhaustion, more fatigue is gonna create. Question number nine, half reps, full reps. Again, in season, half reps, 100%. In off season, full reps. Uh, after training sessions, full reps is really good. On table, I'm talking about table sessions because you need to have blood pumping in those tendons, in muscle. So, but in arm wrestling, stick to this. Everything from 90 degrees up, everything that's going like this, it's our motion, it doesn't matter what everyone in the gym says, it's the right way to do. Question number 10, if you could go back in time, give yourself one tip, what it be? Recovery, recovery, recovery. Think about recovery more than training. Think about how you're gonna get those tendons fresh, how you're gonna keep your arms fresh. Do stretching, do active muscle release, do massages, go to a physiotherapist. Whatever is causing pain in your arm is holding you back. You need to take care of your body. We're, we're destroying it every time we step into the gym. And this is what I didn't do for the first, I think, five years. And only then I started to, oh, I should do this. And, and it's getting tight. And I basically, if I put my finger right here, I feel pain. It shouldn't be like that. I wasted a lot of time, a lot of good training sessions without doing proper things for recovery. So guys, these are my answers to 10 questions regarding armistice training. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay strong and love armistice.